we were working with uh, Nancy at uh, NB Designs um, and we were looking for a door to our conference room that kind of expre that expressed our um, craft and our aesthetic. And Nancy designed a, a really large door that had a vibrant green painted plywood panel on it. And uh, uh, Dan and I looked at the design, looked like a great design, but I thought like, well, why not have that be see-through and have it be made of three-form chroma, which is this incredible material we've used in other situations. We decided that we were going to build a door out of some kind of acrylic material. So we chose three-form, which is a domestically made material. Uh, it comes out of Salt Lake City. Um, like I say, it's an acrylic resin that I believe that they pour a mold of. I think each sheet is custom fabricated to uh, the client's specifications, color-wise, as well as translucency, etc. We ran that by Nancy. She thought it was a great idea. So then we went about trying to create this door um, out of chroma and recycled fur. In the process of that came across multiple technical challenges. And so Dan and I spent um, a few weeks um, in, in an iterative process of coming up with design solutions and uh, engineering solutions really to the design um, and some of those engineering solutions would alter the design somewhat and then there would be pushback and a different engineering solution would arise. One of our obstacles in using this material and, and joining it to another material is uh, how to do so. And, and in the instruction uh, and uh, recommendation manual from 3Form, they state ver very clearly uh, that you cannot have any um, metallic fasteners coming into contact with the, the resin material. Long story short, we ended up having to overbore the holes that attach the um, attached the three form to the wood and then we had to insert some brass threaded inserts into the back side of the dug fur and then use plastic sheets or collars if you will that then are inserted into the whole board into the three form and then the, the metal faster the stainless faster goes in there so it always ha there's always a buffer between hardware and and the three form material. It's an extraordinarily heavy door and it's extraordinarily tall. The hardware requirements are unique and the material, chroma, is a unique material that hadn't really been used in this way before. That, to me, is a really exciting process where you take a great design from Nancy in this case and you marry it with the technical challenges and the engineering challenges of the real-life materials. Um, and often out of that, that struggle comes a really fantastic solution that you didn't really realize at the outset.